Well, hello there and welcome back to the vlog. It is Saturday and I'm at the theater and there is just a lot of random chairs around me. <laughs> There's one here, a couple there. There's a couple tables here. So um, that was interesting to come into, but it makes sense because we do have some dancers coming in today and obviously they need access to the wings and this stuff has just been kind of piled up on the one side of the wings and just switching out for the various different um, recordings that we've had going on, you know, switch up the scenery, change up the chairs, make it exciting. So yeah, I am here. <laughs> I didn't get a ton of sleep last night, but I mean, that's not at all surprising. Mostly because, oh my God, it took me forever to edit the vlog that's going up today, yesterday, to finish it at least. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it's probably because like I laid in bed for a really long time after work. I was like, oh, I don't want to work. And I also went out driving around with my friend, so I didn't get home till later. So it's probably on me. I probably should have got home and like worked on the vlog, but instead I didn't. <laughs> And it was like almost 12 o'clock by the time I got it uploaded. So we're still working out the details, but other than that, it's fine. Today I work for about four hours and then I'm gonna go home and maybe sleep. <laughs> Hopefully not, uh, we will see. And um, yeah, I don't really have much planned for today, so. Weird noises. They always get me. Anyways, I don't have much planned for today, so we'll just see what happens when I get off. Hello, I am free, I'm home from work. I'm still wearing what I wore to work, um, so I need to change, but I have tomorrow off, which is great. Today is Saturday, it, and I worked, and then I work Monday. It's so sad because last week I had Saturday, Sunday, Monday off, and then this week I only have Sunday off, but it's okay, I will definitely survive. Let's get this hair down because it's a situation, arguably much more of a situation now. Anyway, I don't, I don't know. There's just too much. There's too much. Um, there, we have a dance show this week coming up. Like dance shows are always annoying just because there's just so many people and like they're just everywhere in the theater and stuff. Obviously it's different this time. I think it's just show teams and stuff, but just trying to navigate our COVID protocols, their COVID protocols, provincial COVID protocols, health authority protocols. It, it's just a lot. And it seems like every day or actually every couple hours, things are changing as they're like thinking about it, like, well, can we do this? Can we do this? So yeah, that was fun. Cause I was, I was talking to my one um, tech director <laughs> and then one of the dance um, instructors came up and so I like went this way so I'd be the other way and he went that way but the exit was here and so I just got stuck standing in like a little alcove for like 15 minutes while I talked because um, there's yet another change but it's exciting like it's so great that we have so much going on in the theater uh, because I know a lot of theaters are closed and it's just because we like transition to that production house style kind of early on and so it's been good and fingers crossed everything goes fine and we can keep doing this and if this goes well then some of the other dance schools in the community will maybe want to come out um and yeah so that's cool anyways it is currently 12 30 and i need to feed myself i think and then i want to try to be productive today i <laughs> like only thing on my list today was work and and start vlog <laughs> I've done both things, but I'm sure we can find a couple more things to do. Actually, an exciting news. This is this is my notebook where <laughs> I keep a list of the things, the characters and stuff that I'm working on. Um, so I actually finished all the people last night. I was working on it and then I can now move to places in the story world, which puts me one step closer to them being able to work on plot, which is very exciting. Like I know the basics of the story but if you're filling a book I need more than like this happens and then this happens and then that happens it's not enough I need to add some more but we'll get there but see this one this one's starting to fill up I'm not a huge fan of this notebook to be honest the main reason I picked it was because it does have like a little file holder back here because I need to keep my stick it notes with me but it's um it's printed on like stone paper which is really interesting because like you like can't tear it it's waterproof it's cool, but it's just a little spongier than I like. And also there's like this transference issue. I don't know if you can see that. 
I really wish I had this on manual right now, but you can kind of see like right here where there's the highlighter that transferred. So that's a little bit annoying, um, but it is what it is. We'll just keep going. We're already like, we're making, we're making strides here. Look, look at that. I have been a productive person over the last couple weeks, I think, with writing, which is fantastic. Anyways, I have now rambled for way too long. I'm gonna change and then go find some food. <laughs> after five now and I think I've been pretty productive so as you saw I organized these acrylic drawers over here which was always part of my plan once I got that was to move that stuff onto there because eventually I'm gonna have a couple monitors or my tv up here for a while so one step closer and then I think eventually once I build my computer right there I'll probably move this or I'll turn it this way because it's super convenient because it has my ring light on it. So I'm not sure about that. And I've also been writing. So like I mentioned earlier today, I finished writing all my character DNAs and now I've moved on to place DNAs. So I actually just did three. And if you notice, I was looking at my computer a couple times because for this particular story, I actually uh, worked on it for a class I was taking so I have kind of like a head start on a couple places which is nice so I've got this one and scroll I have another one here so yeah just all the visuals it's always nice to have those so that is what I have been working on I'm very excited to have gotten three done because I've typically been doing two but I'm like pretty jazzed about this story right now so that's a good thing, but I was thinking while I was writing, I've never really explained like my process behind planning. And if you're interested, I'll just give a quick overview here. So basically I have a video somewhere that's like called like how I create my characters. If I can find it, I will link it. And I go over like how I do it on the computer, but I always prefer to write by hand. Even when I was writing essays in university, I typically preferred to write them by hand first because then as you're typing them up, you can embellish and add more to it and catch any really bad mistakes. So what I do for planning, this is a different story, but it'll work. So basically characters, I put them all here. When I write them out, I put the check mark beside them. And once I've typed them on the computer, I add typed. Over here, I'm probably gonna have to just rewrite everything out, but people are purple. Places are supposed to be blue because buildings are blue. So that's wrong there. But then you go over here, and so all these tabs that are purple are people. It's pretty simple. Like, keep it simple, stupid. See, purple, people. And then if you go to the blue ones, my goodness, this is difficult to do. Come my friend. So blue is a building. So that's how I keep organized and then yellow are important things 
I think with this story that I'm currently working on, see I've got a couple yellow tags, um, but I've got a couple things that aren't places and aren't people. They're like historical or world events, so I think I'm gonna need to do green for that. I don't know why it's gonna be green, but it's gonna be green because I have <laughs> green flags and I have green on this pen. I also have pink, but pink doesn't work. But yeah, so that's, that's how I sort out and organize things is purple, is people, blue is buildings, yellow is important, pink is also kind of important, and then this particular one here is a note to myself of a, a character DNA that I need to make for that particular person, but I'm not working on that story. But that's just kind of how I do it. Basically here I just brainstorm like crazy and I just put in as much stuff as I can and I go, 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 and then I'll see if I can find one on here. Okay, so like, Wow, could you focus? Okay, so like here's one of the characters. It just says character DNA, his name, what story he appears in, and then I just have like some quick notes here, and then as you go down you kind of get more in-depth about it. And I do that for all my characters. I know I've shown my planning guides before and like that is literally what they look like. It's the name, the story, some reference pictures, so like if I'm just taking a quick look at it I can be like, oh, okay, right, that's what that person looks like. Some quick notes like age, height, ethnicity, whatever, and then more about their personality and everything. So yeah, that's currently what I'm working on. I have probably around 15 more things to write out. <laughs> and then once I am done that, I can uh, move to either typing those up or working on the axe. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. And then once I work on the axe, oh, let's see if I can find the book. <laughs> this is what the book looks like at that point. So again, same thing, purple person, um, blue, oh that's, that is an incorrect blue, blue building, etc. And then I just kind of go in and then, is this still a person? No. This is like just going through the axe, I draw pictures sometimes, and I just figure out the story. Theoretically, in order. <laughs> It's like, if you think like this is bad with like the stick it notes and stuff everywhere, you should see my actual planning guides. You know what? Give me a second. I'll pull them out. Why not? Well, I've definitely shown these before. So it just has characters and places. And again, you just like flip. They're all alphabetical. This one's not too bad, but see, I add extra notes. I like to keep this extra page here for more notes. And then, you know, just go through. I usually read through them or when I'm writing. I add the notes in. Uh, looks like, yeah, <laughs> it starts to get a l little worse. Um, these are obviously the ones that I was currently using. I need to flip to quite regularly. Look at, I, that's, that's a school. It's a fancy tech school. I want to go there. And then this one is the actual book plot. So this one's actually supposed to be a trilogy, so book one, book two, book three, but I think it's actually four books, because you can see, where is it, right here, maybe book, this is book one end or thereabouts, <laughs> maybe book two end, <laughs> um, and again, we just have notes, we have notes, <laughs> we have notes, it's so bad, it's so bad, like, <laughs> Um, I think it only goes, like, through the second book, because I finished the second book, but I haven't written more since, but yeah. That is how I keep myself organized when I'm writing. So, I used to be, like, run and gun writing, where I just, like, type, 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 and hope for the best, but over time, I've developed these skills, and I find that they're super helpful, because particularly with the characters. If I have a character that I create but doesn't appear until like 75 pages into the story, it's nice to be able to just pop there and be like, oh, that's what they look like. Here's their quick details. This is their motivation. Super convenient. But yeah, if you were wondering, I just like seriously, <laughs> I think it's funny. Anyway, I'm gonna go now. I think I'm gonna make myself some dinner because it's like 5.30 and it's just me again because my mom is working super late. Um, and then maybe I'll do some more writing later. Like I'm kind of getting in the mood to the point that I'm thinking about setting up my goal calendar back up there to actually include some writing goals, but we'll see one, one step at a time. So it's like four hours later. It's fine. 
<laughs> I had dinner and then I watched a movie and then I laid on my bed for a while doing nothing and then I sat down and I did some more writing and I think I got like another one, two, three, four, like five things sorted, planned out. I'm almost done all the places now. I have, oh, let's look. This is, I'm trying to look at it sideways and it's not going well. I have one, which I've basically already written out, two, three, four, five, and a sixth one, which again, I've basically written out already. So that's exciting. Uh, but my arm, because I haven't done this much writing by hand for a while, so like my arm is like shaking right now from like right here. And also my hands are hurting a little bit, but it's okay. It's been a while, but it's 20 to 10 now. So I think I'm going to quit for the night and probably get in my PJs climb under my blankets and hopefully get to sleep quickly. I've just been struggling so hard to like get comfortable. At night when I'm going to bed, it's the pillow thing. I think I need to buy a new pillow or a couple new pillows because <laughs> they're all in various states of misshapenness, but <sighs> I'm just so lazy <laughs> and I don't think about it. And, and I'm like, really, I'm like, should I like invest and spend on like a really nice pillow? But then I'm like, what if it sucks? So anyways, I'm just completely off topic. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I think we get ready for bed here tomorrow. Like I said, I'm hoping to sleep in, maybe do s wash some fabric and hopefully do more writing. I think as for things in my actual agenda, I have to text Jessica because it's her birthday. I did send her a card though. I've already set up my agenda and I need to invoice. That's about it. So there's nothing too exciting to do. So that's good, but I'm going to go for now and, um, I will see you in the morning. <laughs> good night. Hello, good afternoon, and welcome back to the vlog. I've been having a very lazy day this morning. I, I slept in until 10, and then I think I, w I just was like, nope, and I rolled over, and so I didn't drag myself out of bed until like just before 11. It's now 20 to 1. It's fine. <laughs> I definitely had some weird dreams. There was a dream that I... something about bird aviaries. Two of them. It was weird. In the woods somewhere. Uh, I was also buying a house or trying to buy a house in my dream and a few other random things. There was like a courting situation, like people courting different people. It was weird. Anyways, <laughs> since I woke up, I've done all of nothing. <laughs> I got dressed, which is a win some days, including today. Um, <laughs> I just got dressed and I've just been watching YouTube, but I think I'm going to sit here and make a list. I think I'm going to check the weather. You know what? Let's check the weather right now. It's supposed to start raining here very shortly. I was going to say, I think I'm going to go wash some fabric, but we'll see. Maybe I'll wait a bit, see if it rains. If it doesn't rain, then I'll do it. Or I should just do it now and then deal with it if it rains or not, but I'm not going to do that. <laughs> but anyway, so maybe washing some fabric. Um, I want to take out my garbage and my recycling because it's kind of getting out of control. And I want to do some writing. And I have to do invoicing today because it is Sunday. But I think it's mostly going to be a chill day, which is going to be nice because it is my day off. And then I think I work tomorrow through Saturday. So I think I work six days in a row, which is just fantastic and also I'm puppy sitting this weekend as far as I'm aware it still might change but so basically I work Friday and then I go straight to puppy sit and then I puppy sit Friday Saturday have to work Saturday afternoon for a couple hours and then Sunday puppy sitting and then coming home I think so we're gonna be busy so I'm glad I slept in because it's gonna be a long week but it's totally gonna be fine and I get to pet puppies theoretically at the end of it anyways I'm gonna go now try to get my day off on the right foot, a very late but right foot, and um, I'll check in with you along the way. Hello again. It is forever later. It is 5.30. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. Actually, you know, I do. So I sat here watching YouTube for a long time thinking, mm, maybe I should do laundry, maybe I should get my life together. And then my friend messaged me and said, hey, I have to run some errands. You want to come? And I was like, sure. So we went and ran his errands and then we got some Starbucks and we drove around for a while because it started raining. And then I came home and I had a very late lunch at like three o'clock. Uh, and then I decided to watch some more YouTube while I was eating. I now have laundry on, so that's exciting. I have like an hour basically until it's dry. It is 
my clothes and also some of my cotton. I'm trying to decide if I want to wash the stuff that I got for my cardigan. So I set the timer for half an hour, which is the time that I would need to set it to then put on my laundry and save as much time as possible if I put on the other fabric. So I'm not sure. I also did some labeling. So this book needed to be labeled because it didn't have a label. Same with this one. And then I added the other story that I'm working on, the label onto the front of that. So that's exciting. Also, I moved this. It's over there <laughs> because I was eating lunch here and it'll actually be nice when I get into writing here in a minute. But yeah, I've just been like kind of unmotivated today. I have a headache and I don't feel the greatest and I'm not really sure why. I don't know if I'm getting sick. More likely, I think it's just I've been eating trash lately, like just so bad. And so I think that might be part of it. So I don't know. We'll see. But I'm feeling pretty tired and just like, like I said, unmotivated. So I'm going to try to get my two... DNA is done for the day. Theoretically, if I can do four, wait, five, five, I can finish off everything in the, in the places slash buildings category, which would be nice. And then I just have a couple other things. Um, this story has a plague in it. So I want to actually like spend some time writing out the plague specifically, its history, its origin, uh, what it does, all that fun stuff. Yeah, this is why I didn't work on the story last year. Uh, it was like, I think, end of March or April, I finished writing my second book in my other series. Uh, no, I didn't finish writing it. I finished editing it for like the final time where I'm like, I'm going to send this to people to read now. Um, I don't know if anybody read it and just didn't tell me what they thought of it. I got no feedback this time, which was great, but you know, global pandemic. So I get it. Um, <laughs> and then I was supposed to start working on this story. And initially I was like, great free research. And then <laughs> eventually I was like, I hate this. I hate this. So I switched focus and I actually planned a lot of another story and then when I was thinking about it, I'm like, I really want to work on this story. So that's why I switched back. Not that the world situation has really changed much, but it's fine. Anyways, so there's like that and then some various other things that I want to write about too before I start getting into the planning for the acts. But the nice thing is, is again, I've mentioned it, I worked on this story before for a class, so I pretty much have the basis of the acts planned out. So it's really just going in with a lot more detail and fleshing it out. So that's exciting, but here we go, try to get this done without like falling asleep or feeling more disgusting than I am. Go try to drink some water, see if that helps too. I don't know, yeah, just, it ain't it today. I got a confession. Been losing all momentum. It's easy But that don't make it better It's basically 11 o'clock and honestly I'm doing really terribly when it comes to vlogging today. So let's see. I not only finished the two DNA place DNAs that I set out to do today, I actually did all five that I talked about. So I am done all the places. There was a point though when I found this notebook right here. Um, <laughs> And so it kind of got to the point where the one I was working on, I was just like, just refer to notebook because I had such copious and like well-planned out notes in that notebook. So it just makes more sense to go there. But that was actually really nice to come across because I was sitting here and I was like, 
I feel like I've written out stuff about this thing before, so I went over to the bookshelf and like this shelf specifically has a lot of notebooks and that one too. There's more underneath, but these ones are kind of the ones that are in use. And I ended up doing all my laundry, including the like six meters of fabric that I have for my cardigan, which is way too much. We discussed this a long time ago when I got it, but so that's washed now as well. So anytime I wanna start cutting it, to sew, I can work on that. I did fold all my cotton and put it away, but I did not fold my clothes or put them away because I'm just, <sighs> I'm feeling like really like bleh and bloated right now. And so I just like, I don't feel like doing anything. So I've kind of not been doing anything. I did go down to the store briefly because I had to get um, a couple things. So I went after dinner and then, um, haven't really been doing much since then, I don't think. I did invoicing, it took me like five minutes because there's only one thing I had to invoice for. Um, <laughs> and yeah, that's about it. So it's been a very chill day, which is what I need it because it <laughs> started tomorrow, like I mentioned earlier, six days flat out. The only thing that I kind of wish I had done today that I didn't do was edit yesterday's portion of the vlog, but the main reason I didn't do that was because it just took forever to transfer the footage, like honestly, forever and so by the time it finished transferring I was like nah, I don't feel like doing that I'm just gonna write so that's what I did but yeah that's the day I'm <laughs> gonna go to sleep now I think or at least try to because yeah work <laughs> the only nice thing is I think three of my six shifts <laughs> coming up aren't um morning shifts they're later in the afternoon I think like one's like 1 30 one's 2 30 I think 2 or 2 30 or something like that so like there will be some days where I can sleep in which is actually kind of a nice change anyways tomorrow is not one of those days so I'm gonna go to sleep now and um I will see you in the theater in the morning <laughs> good night Good morning, a super cool party people, and welcome back to the vlog. That took a second for the lighting to adjust. Anyways, I am back at the theater. It is Monday. We are here to do the things. It's actually a pretty busy week, as I mentioned. I think yesterday, like, I work today, tomorrow, I work the next, like, I work till Saturday, and there's actually, like, a variation in my shifts. Tomorrow I start at 2.30. Wednesday's another 8.00. Thursday's one o'clock, I think. Friday's another eight, and then Saturday's another 2.30. So it's, I, it's crazy. I can't believe how busy we are right now with all the production we're putting on. We're currently, there's a dance school that's rehearsing for their show on Saturday, which again is just a live streamed event thing. And then there's a concert that we're putting together as a community concert. So they're in filming for at least three days. They already filmed one day last week, I think Tuesday last week, and they're filming Tuesday and Thursday this week, and potentially Friday if they don't get everything done, but fingers crossed they do get everything done because I'm not really sure how things are going to go for me if they have to add an extra day on, but yeah, anyways. And that's where we're at. I'm gonna go have my breakfast drink, get ready to start the day. Should just be a short shift, a regular shift, a four hour shift. And then I don't know what I'm gonna do the rest of the day. Like maybe some writing, that'd be fantastic. Probably should fold my clothes from yesterday before that gets out of control. And um, yeah, I don't know, but that's where we're at. Nothing like my idiot bag coming in clutch so I can charge my headphones on my break so I can continue listening to my audiobook, which is Lord of the Rings. If you haven't been around, this is a bag that I call my idiot bag, and it basically has every single electronical thing I could need in the event of an idiot failure on my part. SD card, because I forgot to put the SD card back in the camera before. Um, I have earbuds. I have an extra mic in case I forget to charge my wireless mics. Got a wall adapter. I have like a big aux cable for these. I have a USB-C charger. This one's a USB micro, I think. Um, a lightning cable. <laughs> a, a wipe, I guess I can do there. <laughs> the converter for the iPhone. So this is in case like I can't charge this for some reason or I don't have time and I need to plug in with the aux cable or these regular earbuds if for some reason I can't use these. And I have these ones specifically in case I'm out and I'm editing and I forget the headphones. So I can do that, not that we go out anymore. And then like I said, 
an SD card. So like this is the stuff that makes sure <laughs> I'm good. Cause yeah, I definitely didn't think I needed to charge my headphones or I would have charged them last night, but I got the low battery situation. So anyways, I'm gonna let those charge for a couple minutes. I think the Hesh 3, I think they only need to charge for like 15 minutes and then you get like four hours of use. I definitely don't need four hours. I only have an hour left basically of work. But also the problem with that is, thank God I left myself a note. <laughs> Um, on like last week because I have to wait for a delivery today and um, hopefully they'll be here before noon. I'm just watching and listening because that's the thing too. I, if you've been around, you've heard me say this before. Oh, this lighting is terrible. That's not what I was gonna say. Um, there is a doorbell at our stage door, which is great. So if people are delivering things, they ring the doorbell, you go down. However, because we are a theater, obviously the doorbell can't ring in the theater house because like if there's performance going on, you don't want to hear ding dong. It doesn't ring in the lobby. Again, same kind of situation. Doesn't ring in the green room, doesn't ring backstage. The only places it really rings are the box office, which you can only really hear if you uh, have the door open and upstairs in the offices. And so I put on the delivery details like ring bell and bang door because you can hear the door because I'm gonna have to go into the house um, in a bit here and I have to go upstairs. And so fingers crossed it works out, but I guess like if they aren't here by noon when I'm off, I guess I'll just continue to chill here. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. Cause it's stuff that we need, but I don't know. The sun is shining as you can see. <laughs> It's a beautiful afternoon and I've been being a very productive bunny. It is currently about quarter after three. The vlog from Saturday, which I did not edit yesterday, is now edited. I imported the footage from yesterday, which took forever. It is now currently rendering with all the like the d quick and dirty cuts done, so that's exciting. This is going to be a really long vlog, I can tell you that now because I'm already at like 27 minutes. Um, it'll probably go down a couple minutes, but I still have today's vlog to add, so it's fine. But I've like, look, look, look at this. This is all clean. I've got a ma a couple masks there that I washed because again, I was being lazy. I used to be so good at just like every time I would use them, I would immediately wash them. And now I'm like, oh, I'll just wash them when I get a couple, which is, could be, could be worse, could be better. But I've been doing great things with my list. <laughs> And part of that has been because I'm listening to Lord of the Rings on my audiobook, which I've mentioned before, and I was just like really into it. They're in Rivendell now, the night before the council starts. And um, yeah, I'm just like, what can I do that will allow me to listen to this audiobook? So that's why things are tidy, things are clean. Obviously, editing the vlog, I couldn't, but I'm going to probably cut some fabric in a little bit here probably once I finish this and then I'll be able to listen to it again. And then other things that I want to do, let's see. I kind of want to look for some new music. The lighting is so bad. Um, I kind of want to look for some new music on Artlist just because I'm getting a little bit bored of the music I have and I have such a huge library that I can access. So I might as well because then I can just more music. So that's exciting. Um, and then ideally there are three more DNA situation things that I want to plan out with my writing. So ideally I will get that done and then cut some masks, cut some scrunchies and write a little bit and then we'll pretty much have it all done. I mean, I should probably like stretch cause I, oh, my body every morning, I just need to stretch. But anyways, that's future Tiffany's problem. Uh, hopefully we'll get these things done first, but I'm going to go because this is looks like it's only a couple minutes out, which is so nice because it's been taking so long to render things lately. So that's exciting. And I will check in with you along the way. Okay, so we've hit four o'clock and we've also hit the like time of the day where I'm just so sick of sitting, which is kind of perfect because I just finished editing yesterday's portion of this vlog, which is super exciting. So I'm now going to take some time to clear off the desk um, so that I can cut fabric and cutting fabric will require me to stand and fight with the fabric and it'll be great, but that is totally okay. Um, while I'm clearing the desk, I'm just gonna finish watching this YouTube video that I started, not because I'm particularly interested in it, but I'm like, must see it through to the end. And then, and then we are back on to Lord of the Rings. <laughs> 
you know it's true. Uh, I just... I love that book so much, or that series. Honestly, like, when people are like, oh, if you were stuck on a desert island and you could only bring one book, what would it be or something? Has anybody ever asked me that question? I don't know. But I've thought about this, and it would be Lord of the Rings. You could just, there's so much, there's just such a dearth of information and knowledge and lore that it could keep you occupied for ages. Anyways, <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna sort myself out here. Lost track of the forest through the trees, forgot what I was chasing. Spent so many nights living out at sea that my heart is gone vacant. And everybody who was close to me all stayed on dry land. So now I'm driving back on in the state west. I just gotta feel something. Not gonna wait till the morning because something's gonna change my mind. I don't wanna change my mind Oh, I wanna stay right here, right here Chilling with my friends for another year I would walk away from the spotlight For the good light oh, Come on, turn your hate into poetry Pain into power And I need some friends And your minutes into hours I would walk away from the spotlight For the good light For the good light my best friend an apologetic text he says to come over well the whole damn town has been waiting for the day when you would come back here, back here. there was dancing and talking and steaks on the grill and i think that i will be all right all right and so the adventure in middle earth is going well <laughs> i only have six hours left of the first book because i have just been sitting here and working on masks and listening to that also so <laughs> I cut these scrunchies in like d d December, I think, because I was trying to figure out how to sew them so they didn't have the seam across on the side, and there was a lot of error <laughs> and trial, but mostly error. But this one, I've finally figured it out, although there was error on this one too. There's somewhere that it's gapping, but it's practice. <laughs> I'm gonna practice with a couple more because I don't think it's as full as I would like it to be. Um, and I think the, oh, uh, maybe the elastic's good. I don't know, I'll have to think about it. Anyways, I've been working on masks. Some are for me, some I'm sending to a friend. One was a purchase and I screwed up and you can't, I don't know if you can tell, but the pattern's upside down, which is fine. I've done this before, but the worst part is I looked and I was like, gotta make sure the pattern's the correct way. So I don't know how I still screwed that up. So I'll have to cut another one, but I figure I might as well make this mask and I can like give it to my mom or something or I can keep it for myself because I'm not too fussed about that. But I think what I'm going to do now, it is about 9.30. I'm going to trim the thread and probably cut the corners and maybe flip these all inside out. I think there's like 10 or 10. I think there's 10. Um, and I'll sew them tomorrow though because I put my sewing machine away and then I'll get everything else kind of sorted here. I also have the one scrunchie that I was commissioned to make. It's got baby Yoda in like Mickey form. There he is. He's so cool. Anyways, that's the update. That is where we are at. Alrighty, well once again I was too ambitious in what I thought I could do today, but I was only planning on cutting the masks and I've sewn them to the point of just needing to be pinned and top stitched and finished. So that's exciting. And then of course I do have to cut out the one that I screwed up so miserably, but I do have the linings cut and sewed on the nose piece attached. So it'll take me very short work to get it caught up to those ones. That's probably what I'll do before I start sewing whenever that is tomorrow. I have plans before work and then I work late, so I don't know what I'm gonna get done tomorrow. I had on my <laughs> in my agenda to film two videos tomorrow and I don't know what I was thinking. Probably wasn't thinking, it's fine. Um, but the only real thing that I didn't do today that I was hoping to do was um, some writing, but that is totally okay. This weekend perhaps I'll get some done or or throughout this week like we'll just see where I'm gonna take every day one day at a time because it's my schedule is so weird this week and I hate it I'm a routine person I'm in routine changes I am sad anyways <laughs> it is quarter after 10 I think I'm gonna start getting myself ready for bed and by ready for bed I mean I'm gonna put on my pajamas and then I'm gonna climb into bed and I'm gonna watch some more new Amsterdam because um I've been enjoying it it's all right <laughs> so that's where I'm at I get to sleep in tomorrow which is exciting and um, 
yeah, I guess I'm gonna say thank you so much for coming along on this uh, vlog. Please make sure to subscribe if you want to see more. I do post regularly <laughs> every Wednesday and Saturday. It's new. It's new. And I post video game videos usually on Tuesday and Thursday. So, you know, there's always stuff going on here. I feel like I have like a weird twitch going on. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to go now and I will see you on Saturday. <laughs> Good night.